put your hand up. Four. Attention, attention. It's time to film the next Wednesday 20 show. Welcome to the Wednesday 20 show where it's freezing. It's not exaggerating, it is actually minus two. We've got so many layers on, we can barely move. Yeah, but the sun's come out, so... Yeah, uh, as long as the sun stays out, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers where, crossed. Where are we going today, love? Today we're going to explore a new path. I love that. Yeah, I like yeah, the sound of that We too. are going on Winscombe Drove, which runs behind Shoot Shelf Hill, and it goes towards Sidcot, and then we'll head back towards the Strawberry Line and back home again. Well, there you go. Mm. So we're going to take you with us. Let's go. Oh, look at us running up hills now. We have walked from Axbridge across the A38 up through the woods towards Kingswood Car Park, from the car park back to the A38, and then over the A38 by Shoot Shelf Garage, and we are now on Winscombe Drone. I hope you do a map. Oh, oh, I will. Around these parts, they've got a very dark past. 300 years ago, these woods behind me were known as the Hanging Fields. It was a cliff top which was known as the Bluff. And anyone travelling along the track of the A38 in those days would see people hanging. Now, in 1685 was the Battle of Sedgemoor and there was a magistrate known as Judge Jeffreys. Known as, actually, as Bloody. Judge Jeffries, anybody coming up in front of him, we're in for trouble. So most of the people on the losing army were brought before him and they were all sentenced to be hung, drawn and quartered. Now at this stage, anybody with a disposition, cover your ears or just look away a moment. <laughs> what are you going to say? Judge Jeffries would summon them to be hung, drawn and quartered, which means they were hung by the neck until almost dead, taken down, put on a rack, stretched uh, so their uh, bones would crack and creak, uh, then a knife drawn across the stomach, uh, their giblets uh, shown to their face before their hearts were cut out, finally cut into four and uh, hung from trees. Uh, for, are you all right? Uh, hung from, uh, hung from trees and the stench was awful. Oh, stop! I think we're going to our first song now. It's A World Without Love. Please lock me away And don't allow the day Here inside Where I hide In my loneliness Say I won't stay in a world without love Birds sing out of tune And rain clouds hide the moon I'm okay, here I'll stay In my loneliness I don't care what they say I won't stay in a world without love Stay in a world without love 
I was just telling Louise that back in the 60s, the records, the sounds that the bands used to get on the records were so raw and basic that if you were a live band in those days, you could go out and do gigs and you would sound exactly like the records. Just bass, drums, rhythm guitar, lead guitar and sometimes keyboards. And that was it. Yeah. Just thought nice. I'd tell you that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> they were the days. Things I've missed out on. <clears throat> Do you know, the word drove just makes me think of Thomas Hardy. I don't know why. Why? I don't know, maybe it was mentioned in Tess of the D'Urbervilles or something, or one of those books I had to read as part of my A-level English or something. Wow. But they date back to ancient times, you know, these little roads. Do they? Well, track now. Yeah, they were built specifically for farmers to herd their livestock to market. So they've been here for centuries. What, like a lane? Yeah, they were about four to six foot wide, like this one so yeah. they could herd their, their livestock to market. Oh, I see. Clever, isn't it? Well, there you go. Well, what's hmm. all the change now? Just put them in a the truck. Well, well, I think it's nice that they're still here. Some of them, obviously. There was probably a lot more than there exists now. They're very hard to walk along, love. Well, it is a bit now, because it's frozen mud, isn't it? <laughs> Don't complain, it's not mud sticking to your boots. <sighs> Do you know, back in the 1960s, when my dad said, Bar Barrington, you've got to get a proper job. And he suggested I go out to the Bristol Aircraft Company, which is exactly what I did. I went out there and did my apprenticeship. And I finished up in SO3 Machine Shop. And I finished up making the wings for Concorde. What a claim to fame. Yeah, a plane to fame. Not a plane to fame, <laughs> a claim to fame. A claim to fame. <laughs> Yeah, but um, apparently I'd made a mistake and I, I put a slab of metal on the milling machine upside down. But my foreman was missing. He should have been there helping me. But anyway, I put it on upside down, so I grouted out a part of the wing upside down. Oops. I think Concord would have been good going around <laughs> like that. Yeah, a bit dangerous maybe. Anyway, on the result of that, from my days up there at Filton, I'd written a song called Beautiful Days. Beautiful 
she lifted her dress once again and then again twice. She saluted the bridge on that last November flight. Wanna join in? Beautiful day. It must be so hard being a farmer. I'm just saying, Louise, it must be so hard being a farmer. Look at this track that, that we're on. It's just so deep, just so uneven. I mean, it's probably a tractor track, but whoa, must be so difficult getting from the farm down to the main road. It's a job in itself. I, I've never seen a track so uneven in my life. You've just not lived. Just imagine what it was like back in the day when they didn't have tractors and they had to do all this on foot, herding yeah, all their yeah, livestock. Yeah. And be grateful, it's frozen today and not thick, oozy mud. No, that's true. Mm. That song you just watched just now, Beautiful Days, went all the way back to 2012. God, those were the days. Yeah. That's back when we lived in Yatton, that was. We lived in Yatton. Yeah. Do you know, have you moved very many times? Yes, lots. Have you? Oh, gosh, before the age of 10, I moved virtually every year. I don't know, we, um, I was born in Taunton, moved to Eastbourne, moved to Chester, moved to Birmingham, and then back to here, to uh, by the airport. So you've moved a fair old number of times? Yeah, I hated it. So Did you? Well, yeah, I <laughs> so can imagine. So that's why I've only moved twice <coughs> since. I like it, twice? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. yeah I, I could imagine that. I don't think I'd like that, changing schools. Oh, uh, no. Uh, Always been the newbie that had to be looked after. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I, I, get that i've moved 12 times since i left home 12 times is quite a lot isn't it it is but we're in axbridge now perhaps that might be it i hope so <laughs> i'm <And> not on... <laughs> moving <laughs> anyway on that note <laughs> onward and upward <laughs> that's easy for you to say <laughs> i oh. cannot get over these tracks oh my goodness <laughs> well, we've been walking along the drove, and to be honest, it, it wasn't really much to look at, was it? Well, there were some nice views, it's a nice track, not been on before. Don't be so miserable. Well, I know, but there was a big hill on one side and a big hill on the other side, but then all of a sudden you come across this. You can see as far as Weston. Yeah, it's lovely. And it so reminds me of Bonanza. I'm not sure how Western reminds you of Bonanza. Come on, horse. Wasn't Bonanza on like the flat plains of somewhere? Wyoming. Not, Wyoming's not hilly. Or something it? like that. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel Bonanza. It's like I'm free. I wish I was a horse. I would run if I was 30 years younger. I'd run down there. I'd roll down. Remember rolling down a hill? Woo! <laughs> Yeah, I think you might break something into, if you do that now. Let's get into our special guest, because he's rolling. Oh, yeah, our special guest joins us all the way from Munich in Germany, but he was actually a local lad to us once upon a time. Western. Yeah, Western. And it's Ryan Inglis. Good afternoon, my name is Ryan Inglis. I'm a musician living in Munich, Germany. Big, big thank you to Louise and Barry for asking me to play. And uh, a big hello to everyone there uh, watching the 20 show right now. I uh, appreciate it very much. I'm going to be playing a song for you called Only Human. It is already out now on Spotify and iTunes, but the music video will be released on February the 5th. Now, this is a song about forgiving yourself for being afraid, for making mistakes. And most importantly, to remember to, uh, to love yourself for who you are. And this song is dedicated to all of you right now. This is called Only Human. Here we go. to misbehave 
only human with a sign to make mistakes. Oh, that's okay. I thought. We're only human, we can't be happy all the time, but that's okay. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? I think that's something good to take on board at the moment, don't you? Don't give yourself a hard time if you're not up and bubbly the whole time. No, that's true. Ryan, thank you ever so much for coming on our Wednesday 20 show. It was great having you and we wish you all the luck in the world in Munich, in Germany. We hear that you're doing really, really well. You deserve it, mate, because you're awesome. Right, where do we go next then, love? Well, I noticed just then that you were counting your footsteps as you came up that hill. Do you know, I do. Are you one of those people that count steps? Do you count your steps at home when you go from downstairs to upstairs? That's if you live in a house, of course. 
I always find myself I do. I count <laughs> steps. And I was counting back you there, do. yeah. Or even go on a walk if we're not talking. I got my head down and I'm counting. Do you do that? <laughs> you should be looking at the view and admiring it. I know, I know, I can't I can and I'm really bad at maths. <laughs> Yeah, you get to about 13, you start again, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Let's move on. So we've left Winscombe Drove behind and we've come down the valley and we're walking along a path that's parallel to the A38, but we can't see the A38 yet. And we're going to walk towards Winscombe and then we're going to turn left and go down and across over the A38. Well, that sounds exciting. We haven't got a clue where we're going, really. I have. Uh, but in the meantime, here's some scenic view that Louise has been taking. We've just crossed the A38. We took our lives in our hands there, didn't we, love? Uh, it's a little bit busy. Yeah, whoosh, you have to be whoosh. a bit quick on your feet. <laughs> but we've now made it across to the Strawberry Line, which heads all the way back to Axbridge through that there tunnel. I love this way. Mm. Come on then, let's keep going. Louise and I have just seen the biggest, spottiest dog you've ever did see. And you know, as soon as I saw it, I thought, Hey, there's nothing wrong with my memory because I'm going all the way back to the 50s. Remember the wooden tops? <laughs> oh no, Louise looking at me. And then I went on to say, oh, and I can remember on a Monday, it was picture book. On Tuesday, it was Andy Pandy. And on Wednesday, it was Billy and Ben, the flower pot men. On Thursday, it was Rag, Tag and Bobtail. And on Friday, it was the biggest, spottiest dog you ever did see. The wooden tops. So hang on, you're telling me you remember what programmes were on what day when you were a kid, but you don't know, know what day of the week it is today. 
Wednesday. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Full marks. I think it's time for our last song, don't you? Okay, let's go into our last song. Go on then, love. You can introduce it. <laughs> is that because you don't know what it is? I know what it is. <laughs> it's gentle on my mind. It certainly is. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> official i love it in the country i never thought i'd hear you say that <laughs> i used to be a townie i was brought up in a town so but i've changed i love this especially with a little bit of sun on your back it's fantastic isn't it oh yeah it is can't beat it no you can't we hope that you're keeping fit doing a bit of exercise as well because it does you so much good doesn't it we know there's so so many people doing seven and ten miles a day which is amazing as well isn't it well we don't know how far we've gone to be honest i well, think we need to get a pedometer and work yeah, it out perhaps we should do it but i don't think we're doing that many oh. <laughs> so this coming towards the end of our country file show <laughs> so from matt baker <laughs> And from me, goodbye. We're going home now, finish our basketball game. Hey? And I'm going to make Louise a nice cup of latte. Oh, that sounds all right. <laughs> See ya. Stay safe. It's more guitar and sometimes keyboards. 
But those... I'm going to say bands again. Yeah. <laughs> bands. <laughs> they were full of themselves. <laughs> uh. Oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is it me talking first? Great. I'm trying to take some footage for the scenery. <laughs> I get a mad Walsh horse driving through. Steady. <laughs> hey boy, come on. Ding, 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 ding. Good boy. It's like Bonanza country. Woohoo. Anywho, a very apt song, Ryan. Thank you. Some. <laughs> forgotten bloody words. We've forgotten. <laughs> oh, flipping heck. Take okay. two. We just passed the biggest. The biggest? <laughs> We've just passed the biggest. Oh. For God's sake, what the hell's the biggest? Biggest. Oh, jeez. Oh. You're right? Yeah. Uh, yes, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your liability can't take you anywhere. Oh, here we go. Ah! Ah! Oh, that's cheating! <laughs> <laughs>